Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. We're here with Mark at Switcher Studio. They got an update coming soon. We're gonna talk about that next NAB 2019. So Mark, Switcher Studio, saw you last year, awesome stuff, using the iPad and the iPhones, or the, oh, any type of phone for that matter, to yeah. go back and forth. So uh, I was just gonna say, tell us about it, but I think I just did, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, got the, you got the basics right. I mean, Switcher Studio is a video production studio in your pocket. We allow you to use iPads, iPhones, iPods, any iOS device to create a multi-camera broadcast. Our solution is truly mobile. And, you know, as we like to say, with Switcher Studio, the world is your studio. You're not locked into, you know, one place. You literally can take our, our gear anywhere and do a multi-camera broadcast. Okay. So you got the beta coming. We do. Uh, tell us what's uh, involved. Let's, shall we... Shall we demonstrate it or yeah uh, we can talk about it and then you know maybe show you a, a few of the features all um, right let's do that uh so one of the uh quick update uh one of the biggest features we just released at the beginning of january is uh an element of video chat so now you can bring in a guest that's outside of your wireless network oh. uh, simply by sending them a url okay and then you can bring them in so this opens up the possibilities of using any type of device uh i uh, android devices pcs uh, so anything that has a browser and a camera you can uh, invite someone and they can be a guest on your broadcast with this technology. Uh, and then with our team solution, uh, there are four, uh, you have the ability to put up to four remote cameras uh, per uh, license on screen at one time. Okay. So. And, and the iPad can handle that much uh, yep. that's streaming. Yep. Are we talking like the super brand new Pro or like uh, I have an old Air 2? I'd say old Air 2, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, so any de any device that will run the newest version of iOS uh, should be able to handle uh, what we're doing. Oh, okay. So I have a, I have a two-year-old iPad Pro 12.9 inch that I use, uh, you know, and it works and okay. it holds up just fine. Um, so yeah, uh, anything that will run the newest version of iOS, uh, you should be good to go. That's awesome. Any other features? Uh, as far as like new features that we released yet, uh, no, but some of the things that we're teasing out uh, that we want to kind of let people know of is our new uh, cloud asset management. So the ability to uh, upload uh, assets into the cloud and share them with your team, okay. uh, people that are creating. So, you know, for large organizations, for brands that are looking to create video, um, it's, it's really nice because you can have one person that's basically managing all of the assets and then all of your content creators are using the same thing. So, you know, everyone's always on brand. They're always using the exact same thing, uh, okay. so you can have that consistent uh, look and feel to your video. So you could have a whole bunch of people walking out here on the show floor, getting video, and then sending it to the cloud. You then collect it and then uh, put it together, right? Yeah, essentially. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, oh, okay. And then uh, one other uh, new thing. It's uh, it's probably going to be a little bit later uh, release than the the cloud asset management piece, but uh, the ability to put Facebook comments on screen. Nice. Uh, so. Already within Switcher, you can see Facebook comments in the app uh, when you're doing a live stream to Facebook. Now you'll be able to actually uh, star or save the comments uh, and then build a list of comments that you want to put on screen. And then when you tap the comment, it's going to create a transparent, uh, basically lower third okay. with the person's avatar uh, that mm -hmm. made the comment, what they said. Uh, so it just gives you more features and more ability to bring that audience into your broadcast with you. That's awesome. And yeah. moderation, that's the, also the, the key yep. there. So I like that a lot. Yeah, so, so it's not every comment going on screen. There's only yeah. the ones that you choose. Absolutely. Um, that's awesome. So we're pretty excited about that. So those are kind of the two big features. Um, I can show you kind of the uh, a little bit of the cloud asset management and, and kind of how that's going to work. Yeah, and uh, I hear that's ever changing because it sounded like last night they made an update in which you guys haven't had a chance to no. download yeah. yet. So yeah. it'll be ever changing. So let's take a look at this cloud management tool and sure. then go from there. All right, sounds good. All right, we are here. Uh, show us what you got. Um, so one of the first features I want to uh, uh, kind of talk to you about is our new integration that we have with LinkedIn Live. Uh, so LinkedIn just recently announced, probably in the last uh, six weeks or so, that LinkedIn Live, uh, they're slowly rolling it out. Uh, Switcher Studio is a launch partner with them. Okay. Uh, so you can see here on the screen that we have uh, LinkedIn Live uh, as a destination that you can go to. Um, so you actually have the ability now directly in the app to go to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn Live, or custom RTMP destinations. And then we also have our new cloud asset management. Um, so just to kind of show how that works um here's a video that we did uh, actually i won't do the video because it might take a long time to upload with okay. wi-fi here but um let's say it's this so it's uh 
everyone on our team at Switcher Studio, we want them to have the exact same Instagram uh, graphic overlay the, okay. for sharing on our social channel. Yeah. So if I wanted to make sure that we ha everyone uh, on the team had that, uh, I would basically go down here to select. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and select it. And then there's a little cloud. You selected it right there, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I selected it right here. And then there's a cloud icon. Okay. I click this. It's going to upload that file to the Switcher cloud. And then now, anyone that is a part of my team, when they go into go into add an asset, they'll click the plus sign, the new plus sign that we put at the bottom okay. now, okay. Um, and go to Switcher Cloud. So we've got the new Instagram okay. um, lower, lower third, third yeah. that we put in there. So anyone that's a part of our team, uh, the Switcher Studio team that's creating content, uh, regardless of where they're at, you know, we're here at NAB, mm -hmm. uh, but if you know, if our team back in Louisville wants to do a, uh, a live stream, they'll basically be able to go into their cloud asset management, uh, pull that down, and we'll be using the exact same asset here <laughs> that they're using back in the home office. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you could actually produce something here and send it to them, and then they could put it into other streams Correct. as they go. So you could you could really complex this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you can get super advanced. You can also get... Um, you know, just use it for basic, uh, you know, asset sharing from lower thirds or templates, whatever, so. All right, so how do people get Switcher Studio? Uh, so you can go to switcherstudio.com and sign up for a trial. Uh, we have a free 14-day trial uh, for you to test out the service, make sure, you know, that you have a good feel for it. Um, so switcherstudio.com, once you create an account, then you go into the app store and download the app on a device or as many devices as you want. It's free to download. And this is all iOS, right? All iOS okay. uh, currently at this point, yes. Is there any chance of going Android at all? Or? Um, probably not in the near future. Okay. Uh, you know, our our foray into the Android market is with our video chat. Okay. Uh, so this is how we're allowing people to bring in uh, Android cameras. So, okay. you know, I know we have a lot of people that uh, want to use their Android cameras uh, because they and they have good cameras, matter, right? Yeah, you yeah. know, um, the Samsung, uh, you know, the Pixel. I know that those are very, very good, you know, top of the line cameras on those devices. So now you can actually bring that device in uh, okay. as a as a camera source, if you okay. will. So. And where do people go for more information? Uh, so switcherstudio.com. You can go to our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash switcherstudio. Uh, we have a weekly show uh, actually every Wednesday uh, that we do, uh, it's called stream squad. So we'll be doing it live from here today okay. uh, at 2 PM. Which is what they're uh, setting up right, right. now. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, we also have a, a watch party that we host as well for anyone that's getting started with switcher. Uh, we, we basically play the same video every week and then Jimmy, uh, Dan and Angela are uh, active in the comments, answering questions that people may have as they're watching. Uh, so we try to we try to stay involved in the community as much as possible, okay. and then we also have a uh, a really good Facebook group called Switcher Studio Enthusiasts, awesome. uh, where you know we get a lot of our members get a lot of the support uh, that they get because they just get it from each other. Absolutely, you gotta love those support groups. Yeah. It's, it's amazing what what people can uh, do with products that it, you just never expected them to do, and so all of a sudden it's like. Oh, wow, you can do that. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's sweet. So, all right. Well, thank you very much, Mark, Absolutely. for your time. So, thank and you. And you guys over at Geekazine, we got a lot more video at NAB 2019. So, go over, like, subscribe, comment on YouTube. That bell notification will tell you the next video is out. And lots of content over at geekazine.com. So, until next time, you guys, geek out.